Okay, hit it. Don't lose inspiration. Don't be hard on yourself. Yes, my friends, don't lose inspiration and don't be hard on yourself. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That simply means may peace and blessings be upon you. Yes, you, my friend, I wish you nothing but peace. Welcome to Abdi Malik Reacts. You guys want to hear a joke before we begin the video? You know what? Whether you want to hear it or not, I'm going to throw a joke at you. Okay. What do you do when everything goes left? You go right. Ah! That sounded a lot cooler in my mind. <laughs> that sounded so much cool like in my mind. Okay, I'll go back to the drawing board and uh, come up with a little more original jokes. Okay, anyways, with that out of the way and uh, kind of embarrassment out of the way, uh, let's get into this video, okay? As you can see by the title, we are checking out a video by my brother, your brother, Smile to Jannah. I love this guy's uh, videos, this brother's videos, because he does really well uh, breaking down issues and things like sometimes complicated things. I'm like, mashallah, how do you do that, man? Anyways, uh, today we're going to be checking out his video on... Uh, the World Cup, uh, if you watch the World Cup final, you know what this video is about. Uh, you've seen what, uh, what, uh, what happened. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking and let this brother take over. And, uh, yeah, let's check it out. Okay? Let's both enjoy this video. Okay? Let's get it. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. I love his uh, his intro, it's so beautiful. Has left us. Hey! We got the same mic! Okay, the arm is different. But that's so good. I don't even... Okay, I need to stop being a little bit of too much of fanboy. Is that... A, is that... Okay, anyways, go ahead, and take in over. What glory it ended. Scrolling that through Twitter, true. I could see influencers of all different backgrounds go, This was the best World Cup final. Or one of the. That is 110% correct. It had me on the edge of my seat. Let's just say that. Best World Cup finals that they had ever seen. And of course, Argentina Fact. beat France and seeing. Sad about that, I must say. I was I was rooting for France. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I I'm I was a uh, yeah Mbappe all the way, but it's okay. It's okay. Mbappe is young. He will he will come back next to, inshallah next uh, next World Cup. Macron's face switch from this to this has got that to be part. My personal that part did make me happy. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, part of me was happy that France lost. But at the same time, kind of sad that Mbappe lost because I'm a big Mbappe. Well, not big, big, but I like Mbappe. I I, I, I kind of uh, roll with him in a way. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyways, yeah. I like, and my reason for supporting Argentina. But what was difficult for other people to digest mm. was what happened. Okay, I, I guess we can do like be on our own way when it comes to what team to support and our reasons. But... Ultimately, yes, when the part of me that uh, was happy that France lost was everything that Islam, the hate, Islamic hate that goes on is the Islamophobia that happens within France. Definitely. Of course not. I would never, ever support that. But uh, part of me was sad because uh, mainly few players from the France, uh, the French team that I support. Other than that, the country itself, hmm, I don't know. Happened when Messi took to the stage. As you can see, the FIFA... Yes, this has been, uh, yeah. A guy and the Emir of Qatar were there placing something called a besht onto Messi, which is typically worn by... That, yes, I saw some things on video, on some uh, posts on social media saying they ruined the best moment in football, blah, blah, blah. Oh, ignorant people. 
Educate yourself. Educate yourself. By royalty, by warriors. By Educate them. Smile to Jannah. There you go. This is why I love this guy. Imams. It's a clothing of honor and something which is representative of Arab culture. I mean, let's facts, facts. All the like uh, royalty, uh, like all the Saudi. Uh, it, it's Face it, with the amount of money that Qatar have spent, even if they got the guy in a headlock, it probably would have been justified. So this was a way of number one them honoring the winner number two sharing their facts. culture humanizing and normalizing a group facts. of people that objectively get demonized in the western media and having spent billions yeah some say like 200 billion yes i remember that video i reacted to by uh johnny harris uh, yeah i think he's right about the two billion two hundred billion yes god knows mate but i think that earns them the right to do something positive for their culture mate but Facts. the bbc commentators headed by of course gary lineker and not to mention papers like the daily mail daily star telegraph got espn add that to the mix oh my allah i'm sorry this video might be a little long but i saw one uh it wasn't i think not the world cup but there was a post that was made by ESPN that really boiled my skin. Like, oh my Allah. It was the Moroccan team uh, bowing down to uh, make sujood. And ESPN made a public post with the caption, something along the line of the Moroccan team bowing down for the fans to say thank you or to appreciate, to show their appreciation to the fans. Oh... The audacity for them to say something like that had me, oh, okay. It was ridiculous. Wallahi. I'm, I was like, are you serious? ESPN. But anyways, continue. Hella brother. triggered, yeah? Let me first deal with the papers. They were using words like bizarre, forced. I did not see these. I mean, I've seen some of them, but I, yeah, I've seen this one, the forced one. Yes, the bizarre one I didn't see. Ruined. And the BBC commentators, just have a listen yourself. Seems a shame in a way that they've covered up Messi in, a, in his Argentina shirt. Just why? Ah, smile to Jenna, take over, man. No, I can't. I don't know how to express my feelings about how I feel about that. You are the you're the expert. Take it over. There's two options here, yeah. Either they didn't know, which I don't think you can take that opinion because what just happened? Oh, there we go. If you don't know, you ask questions like, why are they putting that there? Is it facts? Thank you. Thank you. Go because ahead. Because of this? Is it because of that? I didn't hear any questions. Nope. Did you? Or no. Number two, they did know, and they were just being insensitive bigots taking their final dig at Qatar. And the reason I say that is because here is an image of Brazil winning the World Cup and their leader, Pele, being adorned with the Mexican hat. Thank you for making this. Oh Please my Allah, I hope, I hope more people see this because there are so many people talking trash about why Messi was wearing that. Oh my God. People be calling it bizarre, forced, and ruined, of course no, not, mate, because these no. sorts of things are just reserved for Arabs, Muslims, and let's face it, brown people. And another mm -hmm. thing that's worth contemplating on is the Qataris spent billions, yeah, billions building stadiums. Something. They sacrificed many in the process of building these stadiums. They invested like 40 billion in the UK just to make sure these mugs would not stab them in the back, which to some- Ah, <laughs> these mugs, I love this. Yes, let it degree get degree it out. Because the Qataris tried to promote their country on the TFL network, Transport for London, but they rejected it. Really? Are you serious? Wow. 
country on the TFL network. The capital transport. transport for London, but they rejected it. And is this the same London that is that has pretty much been bought out by the Qataris? The irony, mate, is palpable. But despite them spending all that money and even compromising some of their basic values, it still wasn't enough because you had people like the BBC saying, yeah, yeah, but they don't support LGBT. Yeah, but they don't support that. So in other words, the only way we're going to support you is if you give up your beliefs, your culture, and you adopt They will still find things to say, sadly. That's just the sad reality. You can never please these individuals. I mean, these people, it's just sad. Everything. You can't even leave one thing out. Even if you disagree with it, there's no room for that. That's liberalism, guys. That's liberalism in a... Please educate them on us. Yes. Nutshell. How does this apply to you and me? Don't be ashamed of your religion. Never. Don't hide. Never. Yeah, because you might say, I'm not going to pray in front of them. I'm not going to, I'm going to go to the pub and uh, order an orange juice. No, it's never going to stop. And to drive this point home, look at what the goalkeeper of Argentina did. Oh. Uh. And their reaction. I'm so ashamed of uh, him because he, he was an Arsenal player and I'm an Arsenal fan. He was actually, to be honest, uh, he was actually a really good goal goalkeeper. And while I was watching the game, when uh, it got to the penalties, I was like, no, there's no way France is going to win this. Because the guy's really good goalkeeper. That you can't say. But as far as his personality... <laughs> his they personality... They didn't call it bizarre. His personality is not there. Yeah, because I felt that I was forced to watch something. I felt it ruined my time. If I had kids there, I'd feel disgusted. Yeah, because that that's something that liberalism would just laugh at. How hypersexualization. Oh, pretending that, you know, the award... The this is why I love Smile to Jannah. Wallah, this guy is... Mashallah, mashallah. First thing that came into this goalkeeper's mind was, Hey... A private part. Sickening human being. Hey, that, that. <laughs> I love that clip. I love that clip of Mohammed Hijab. That's that's beautiful. That's that basically runs the point that home. Behind me. Wow, that that's weird, mate. That shows that this guy needs psychological help. I need that clip. Wait, wait, wait. Repeat that back. Sickening what? <laughs> Hey, oh, a that's beautiful. Part. Sickening human being. Hey, there are, there are political <laughs> leaders behind me. Wow, that, that's weird, mate. That shows that this guy needs psychological help. If that's the first thing that popped into his head. What a weirdo. And another point to drive. <laughs> oh, yes. I think this guy needs to be my anger man. What is it called? Anger translator. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's what it's called. Anger, tra anger translator. Because he does really well, like expressing the feelings, the anger, and the emotions. Uh, the beautiful. Platform. As the World Cup ended, they had BBC, they had the highlights, yeah? And in the highlights, despite people saying, don't politicize football, I mean, you can never say that again. You can never say that again, yeah? So they ended with a montage that had an LGBTQ song. They showed an Iranian woman's sign. They had the LGBT uh, mouth cover of the German team. <laughs> they had the BLM knee. But the most celebrated cause, yeah, the most celebrated people that are suffering, the Palestinians, yeah, there were proclamations. I didn't even watch that ending highlight, to be honest. I didn't know what happened over there. ...of Free Palestine. There were flags in every single match. But the BBC... Of course, of See, course. No, 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 no. They wouldn't show that, mate. In fact, let me show you their mentality, yeah? Because it's wow. selective outrage. That's what it is. I mean, you can see this headline first, which is them being honest, and then they changed it because... Wow. I keep saying wow, but I don't know how how to really. Because the Zionist handler said, what the heck are you doing, mate? Don't bite the hand that feeds you. So guys, I want to say Alhamdulillah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Shame on you. 
BBC. Alhamdulillah, that we had a period of time in which we were able to showcase our religion and show people the beauty of Islam. And a lot of people that went there with an open heart and uh, some accepted Islam, some left with a reduced bias but many <laughs> oh my allah this guy i love this muslims too hater zero i love this I have seen that's the beautiful beauty that muslims have to offer let's leave it there until next time bro smile to jannah killed that that was beautiful he needs to be my anger man i know management yes maybe management as well let's just add that to the list but that was beautiful that was beautiful i love the way he breaks down things and explains things and just gets his point across without coming out like you know you know I love that. I really love that about him. I really love about him. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Please check out uh, his video on his channel. I'll put the link and uh, stuff in the uh, below this uh, whatever. Not that, uh, not that you probably haven't seen the video already, but I'll leave it in there if you haven't seen it. You can check the whole video yourself there. And also, of course, subscribe to him if you haven't. Okay? Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace out, guys. Don't lose inspiration. Don't be hard on yourself. You're one in a billion. You motivate the ones you love. You got your own way. You find in places no one finds. You're right at the shadow. Now you'll be just fine. I got the world on my shoulders, but I don't care. I got that faith in Allah that'll take me.